Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. It's been a while since I've seen you, but I got some new stuff to show you, so let's get right into this. We're, today, we are going to go ahead and create grids inside Illustrator. We're going to convert them into guides, and I'm going to show you how to like adjust gutters and things like that. Stuff that you would use if you're a web developer and you want to maybe, instead of using Photoshop, maybe you want to use Illustrator. So it's a pretty cool tool and uh, it's got vector graphics, all that good stuff. So uh, really, really popular. Let's get right into this. First step, guys, you want to go to File New. Once you've opened up Illustrator CC, I've got it right here. File New. And then for me, just for tutorial purposes, I'm going to go to Web right here. And I'm going to go to Common and I'm just going to click create and you're going to notice here on the right side before I do that that we're creating an artboard it says one artboard here are the width and height just to make sure if you're not sure and I'm going to go ahead and drop this down to pixel preview mode just because that's the way it's supposed to be for me because that's what I like all right here we go so we've got our nice little artboard opened up and I'm going to zoom out and whoa holy zoomy zoomy let's just get this zoomed in a little bit better how about something like that uh, no, okay. Well, anyways, guys, I will zoom out a bit and uh, yeah, we'll just center that up. All right, so here we go. I'm zooming in a bit, and the first thing you want to do, I think, for, for doing uh, grids and guides and stuff like that, is I create a rectangle. So I just go over here to the rectangle tool, and I create a rectangle around the whole artboard, just like this. And then when you see I let go, you're going to see that it says in the right side here, width and height is 1366, 768. <laughs> That's what we're working with to start. So again, we're on the right track here. The next step is I want to work with 15 pixel margins or so. I think that's what we're going to work with. So I'm going to take the width down from 6.6 six to 3.6. And when I do that and I hit enter, you're going to notice here on the right side and the left side for that matter, there is a slight little, yeah, a little bit of a gap there, a little bit of a margin. That is what we're looking for. All right, continuing on, we're going to go ahead now and start creating some uh, some grids and some guides here. So the next step here is you want to go up to, uh, where is it, object, path, here we go, object, path, and then we want to go down on path, pardon me, and where is it, doot, 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 split into grid. Now we are creating the grid. The next step here, guys, is you want to make sure that this preview is checked because you want to see your work as you go. Now, because this is a web, we're going to be working with columns instead of rows. So because it's, it's web work, it's column stuff. So if I have one column like I do now, if I hit up, you're going to see here we got two. Now we got three, four, five, etc. So let's just work with four just for the hell of it. And again, you'll see the exact, well, let's go actually, let's go down to three because I wanted to show you with, with whole numbers here. So again, you can adjust the number of columns, which is what we're looking for. And the next step is you want to change the gutter. So the gutter is the space in between here. So if I up the gutter, you're going to see, oh, well, that sounded weird. If I go up the gutter for 15 pixels, you're going to notice that there are 15 pixel space in between the different boxes, the different grids. That is also what we're looking here for. So again, guys, this is how you go ahead and split things into a grid. I'm going to just increase it for the hell of it. Let's go up and let's create uh, let's create 20 pixel gutter. Just to show you guys, again, you guys do what you want for your own workflow and your own space, but that's how you do that. Now, if you want to make these into guides, the next step here is you want to go to view. So click on view and then down at the bottom, you're going to see guides and then you're going to see an option that says make guides. If you left click on that, bang, they go to light blue and the guides are created. And if you start creating things inside here, you're going to notice that if I create a little a rectangle, it is going to snap to the guide just like that. So it's snapping, snapping. Uh, that wasn't a good one. So that, guys, is how you create get grids. That's how you create guides. That's how you adjust gutter links. And that's kind of how you work in the web side of things with Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching. i got tons more tutorials coming up. Be back soon. Cheers.